Hi everybody, this is Riyad Kasim with QBrush.com. In this chapter, I will go through the blocking in of the hard surface panel designs for the mech. I start off by reviewing the sculpt, trying to figure out the panel design shape. I select the head sculpt and create a duplicate of the object. I use the transparency function to view the mesh with transparency and then draw a mask section over the object with the lasso tool. I hide the unmasked section and delete hidden. I use a smooth brush to smooth the edges of the mesh. I then select the clip curve brush to clip the edges of the object. Begin working out the edges of the mesh with the trip cur trim curve brush. I select the head mesh and create a duplicate of the mesh. I then select the eye area with the clay brush, subtracting the eye area to better view the design. I select one of the head panel pieces and start to sculpt on the mesh with the clay brush. I use the transpose tool to modify the shape of the mesh. I smooth out the edges with a smooth brush and select the trim curve brush to trim the edges of the sculpt. I use the inflate brush to add volume to the mesh. This helps with the DynaMesh function, avoiding remeshed surfaces with holes. I select the move brush to modify the shape of the mesh. I then clip the edges with the clip curve brush. I continue to work in the edges of the mesh with the clip curve and move brush. I review the object and use the move brush to tweak the shape of the mesh. Then continue to clip the edges of the mesh with the clip curve brush. I select the transpose rotate tool to test out rotations for the object. Continue to refine the shape of the object with the move brush. I select the hard polish brush to polish the surface of the mesh. I duplicate the mesh, move the object with the transpose tool and test out clip and trim strokes to cut up the mesh. I then rather use the rectangle mask selection with the hide point and delete hidden function to shape the object. I modify the position of the shape and object 
with the transpose tool. Then select the move tool to tweak the proportions of the mesh. Trying to figure out the shape and placement of the object. I review the object then select one of the cylinders and work the position of the object into the design with the transpose move tool I switch between the different meshes and tweak the shape and position of the objects I use the clip curve tool to clip the edges of the mesh. I create a duplicate of the object and position the mesh into place. I edit the shape with the move brush. I continue to refine the shape of the object, working in with the moved brush. I save project file, duplicate the object, then move the object with the transpose move tool. I then sculpt the shape into the surface with the move brush. switching between the two different objects to refine the design. I then select one of the top panels and create a duplicate of the object. I move it into place with the transpose tool and then with the clip curve brush I clip the edges of the object. Save project file and continue to work the shape of the object. tweaking the proportions of the meshes with the move brush, save file and review the object. I then select one of the panel meshes and create a duplicate of the object. I move and rotate it into place with the transpose move tool cut the edges of the object with the clip curve brush. I create another duplicate of one of the panels and move and shape it into place with the move brush and transpose tool. Use the clay polish brush to polish the surface of the mesh and the clip curve to cut the edges. Dynamesh to remesh surface, then review the sculpt. I select the eye area of the sculpt and clip the edges of the mesh with the clip curve brush. I 
I review the sculpt again, checking to see if the forms are reading well. I select one of the cylinder meshes and create a duplicate of the object. I move and scale the object into place with the transpose move tool. I select one of the eye cylinder objects and create a duplicate of the mesh. I use the transpose tool to position and scale the object into place. I refine the object with the transpose move tool. I then isolate one of the cylinders and activate the radial symmetry function. I split the object and delete the subdivision levels. I dynamesh the object to remesh the surface, then divide the object to sculpt with symmetry active on the clay brush. I work in the design of the object and select a damn standard brush for line details. Refine more of the design with the clay brush and polish the surface with the hard polish brush. I review the object, then merge the other cylinder objects with the new cylinder mesh. I review the sculpt again, checking if the forms are reading well. I then create a duplicate of the object and mirror the mesh with the mirror deformation function. I review the sculpt and save project file.